we're gonna experience some pretty crazy weather today. Uh, the temperature right now is in the mid 40s, but it's dropping dramatically. By the time we wake up tomorrow morning, it's gonna be right around zero degrees Fahrenheit, an over 40 degree shift in 10 to 12 hours. We're back in Sand Dunes State Forest here in Minnesota. Um, I headed out on a new trail today and stumbled upon this camp here. And I'm really glad I did because it's got everything that we're gonna need for the night. We've got a nice flat spot for our cabin. We've got a picnic table, we got a fire ring, which will give us the chance of having a fire. So we should be in good shape to ride, ride some of this out. actually not supposed to have pines like this here. Uh, we have pine trees up in the northern part of the state, uh, but these were planted here about 80 years ago or so. Well, 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 what do we have here? Now, technically you're not supposed to leave deer stands up like this in our state forests, but I can see why he has it here. And that's because we've got some deer scat right here. And this is certainly a deer trail that we've been following. So a lot of you guys have noticed by now that there's not a ton of variety to the food that I eat out in the woods here. You know, I like my burritos, I like my soup, I like my eggs and bacon, but I'm trying to do things a little bit differently by not reinventing the wheel necessarily, but by eating better versions of the foods that I love. And so I'm happy to say that I've partnered with a brand that's helping us to not only eat better quality foods, but to save money doing so, which is really, really important to us. We're talking about Thrive Market. Now Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store that guarantees savings with every single order. They specialize in offering organic, healthy foods or healthier versions of the foods that you already enjoy. But what we truly love about it is how inexpensive it is. As a Thrive Market member, you'll save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. And if you do happen to find a lower price somewhere else, they'll match it. You can either choose a monthly or annual membership. The annual one does save you some extra money. And get this, if you don't make back in savings the money you spent on your annual membership, Thrive Market will pay you back the difference. You order all of your food online and it is delivered straight to your door. And if you make orders over $49, the shipping is free. And if you see this little icon that says Thrive Cash at the bottom left corner of your screen, you can actually earn cash back. And who doesn't love that? We've got some grain-free taco shells to try a little taco tonight instead of a burrito. I picked up some sea salt plantain chips, which I'm gonna try with some organic salsa. That's gonna be later as well. But to start things off for lunch, we're gonna go with the chicken and gnocchi soup here. I'm gonna take it into the cabin and cook it there because it is getting really, really cold. So if you wanna join Thrive Market today, you can do so and receive 30% off your first order plus a free gift worth up to $60. All you have to do is go to thrivemarket.com slash tinycabinlife to get started. I've also got that linked in the description below.
Oh, jeez. Oh, no. The wind is blowing smoke back in here. Ooh. Guess let's try to light it up again and see what happens. So far, so good. I think if that happens again, though, oh, it's happening again. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, man, this is not good. I think I'm gonna have to like move the cabin. Oh, I gotta open this again. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is move the cabin somewhere that has more of a windbreak. Which is such a bummer because I'm starving. So you guys, there's a whole other little spot back here that seems to be a little more covered by the trees. I wonder if I set up back here, if we'd have a little bit of protection. I think we're in the clear. We've had a few major wind gusts and um, nothing's happened, so that's good. The fire is burning hot. Uh, it's warm in here now. So I, th I think we're gonna be in good shape, which is good news, because I did not want to have to pack up and leave. So I think we can finally make some, some lunch now. My goodness. God, thank you for this day to be out in the woods. Help us to stay safe and to be warm. Amen. All right, let's give it a try. Looks and smells amazing. Oh, so good. That gnocchi is incredible. And it is now snowing outside. This is a crazy day to be out here, I'm telling you.
This is going to be so good. Sometimes it's nice to just walk and listen to the sounds of the wind and the snow crunching underneath your feet, the leaves. It's very therapeutic. It's actually turned into quite a nice little evening here. I noticed out on our walk that the wind was dying down a bit. There's still a few gusts every now and then, but they're not, they're not as bad as they were earlier. And uh, definitely safe to have a fire in the fire ring. Thank you for this amazing food and for this fire and a beautiful night. Amen. Oh, tacos, baby. 
No burritos tonight. <laughs> These look incredible. It's very good. That spice packet, that new spice that we're using, it's amazing. The salsa adds a perfect little kick and the crunch of those taco shells are just, oh, it's superb. Mmm. Well, I'm beat and it's time to hit the hay. Uh, currently it is 13 degrees outside, uh, but by the time we wake up, it says it's gonna be four degrees. So uh, we're in for a pretty cold night, but thankfully I brought Ellie's sleeping bag and I have my zero degree sleeping bag as well. So we're definitely like, you know, prepared for it, but um, yeah, we're gonna need to bundle up, that's for sure. All right, I'm gonna zip you up in here. There we go, girl. Good dog, very good. Now, another reminder to you guys, I do not sleep with the fire burning. So I allow it to burn out. That way, there's no way that I roll into it and start myself on fire or whatever. So if it's, you know, gonna be a certain temperature, we make sure to have uh, the right sleeping bags for that temperature because the stove goes out when we go to sleep. Whew. All right, I'm gonna wait for this fire to burn out, but I'm gonna shut off the lights and uh, we'll see you bright and early. Well, it'll probably still be dark, but we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good night. Well, it's very cold. I just checked the temperature and it's two degrees. <laughs> Quite the shift from yesterday. Oh, you guys have just noticed that our water froze, which some of you may say, oh, well, that's obvious that was gonna happen, but usually I don't have just like a jug of water like this. Normally I have it in insulated little um, flasks or whatever. Um, and so it doesn't freeze, you know, with just one night. So this is a bummer. We're gonna have to um, thaw it by the fire before we can even make coffee. So Ellie's food is also indeed frozen. So I'm gonna, I guess, put it up here for now to thaw out. Not ideal, none of this.
All right. We got some water. That actually did not take as long as I thought it would. Sweet, sweet coffee. Oh, that's good. I need it too. But hey, before we know it, the sun's gonna be up. Whew. Well guys, it is quite cold. I think it dropped down to about two degrees. <laughs> Ellie's stoked. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, I don't think I'm gonna do a hike this morning, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take the bike out and we'll bring Ellie, cause she's fired up. But uh, I'm gonna scout and see if I can get out of here uh, a different route than I came in. So if you take a look, this path here leads to a parking area, which connects out to uh, some other gravel roads here. Uh, this area is closed off to cars, but I think I might be able to get my cabin out and it'll be a little bit easier than taking it on the smaller trails. But I don't want to haul the cabin all the way down there just to find out it won't, you know, be able to go around the gate. So um, I think I'm gonna hop on the bike. We'll take Ellie along and uh, go see if we can get the bike cabin out. Man, it is so cold. You know, we're right at zero and you can feel it. My toes are freezing, my fingers are cold. Thankfully, my body feels okay because this, uh, this is an amazing jacket, but everything else is just frozen right now. Okay, so this first gate here is no problem. We can easily go around it but I'm pretty sure there's one more gate we're gonna have to deal with. So let's, uh, let's go check that one too. All right, and here is the main gate that leads out to the, the bigger road. It's not the easiest route with the cabin. You can see it's a little bumpy in there, but it should work. And it'll actually be much easier than going out uh, the other way. Well guys, I'm gonna say goodbye to you here. It's just too cold to be messing around with a camera as I try to ride out of here. But I wanna thank you so much for coming along. It's just so cool once again how we can have such a unique experience in a familiar place. I mean, yesterday was crazy. Special shout out to our patrons who generously donate to this channel. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We do not take it lightly. Uh, but also to all of you who watch and support. It means the world to us. We'll be back next week. I think I got the whole family coming out. It should be a good one. And uh, until then, peace out. God bless, and we'll see you later.